Hey guys, it's your girl Kobe and I'm back with another video. So yes, this is gonna be a quick video showing you guys um, the top three apps that I believe that you definitely need for your business. But first, before jumping into the video, as you always know, please follow your girl on my YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe and become a subscriber, a sub of mine. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you do not miss a video of mine. Thank you all for my new subbies. I love and appreciate you all so much. And I hope you are loving the content that I'm bringing to you. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my social media platforms. If you don't subscribe, you follow my Instagram and my Facebook pages. It's my business name, KCO Unlimited. And if you be bored sometime and want to see how your girl is doing on her personal downtime, um, you can follow my Snapchat, which is April Kobe, and my personal Snapchat uh, and my personal IG is April Kobe. So yes, now we got that out the way, let's jump into the video. So I'm just gonna jump into the video, show you guys the top three apps that I think you need. And that's gonna be our Visco app, our Fonto app, and our Canva app. And if you have not heard of these three apps and you like to see how they work and how they can benefit your business, watch the next clip. So the first app we're gonna jump into is our Visco app. I'm going to open the app and select a photo and the first thing I like to do is select my exposure. I like to at least start with one is normally what I start with depending on the photo. So once I get the exposure where I would like, I would then start moving to, I normally do clarity or sharpen. I think right now I'm doing the saturation and that brings the color back into the photo. I'm going to find my correct and proper setting I like. Now that I've done that, I do like to um, play around with the actual grain of the photo. I know this is better for actual uh, selfies or actual people, but the grain does bring out great texture in your photos. Once I like what I've done, I will save the actual photo and move on to the next. The next app is the Fonto app, and I love to use this app to make my thumbnails for my YouTube videos. So I'm just showing you how you can actually go in there and customize the measurement of your actual photo or image, or they also do have preset measurements of um, templates for you, which is actually great. So I'm just going to jump into the plain image. I'm going to save and use the same image and then I'm going to add an image. Once I select the photo that I would like to add to the image, I will then play around with the size to get it to the actual size that I would like. So I'm just playing with the actual size of the photo. Now that I'm actually getting the photos to the size that I would like on this template, I'm then going to add another image. This image is just this plain white image, and I'm going to add that to the middle of the photo. Now that I have done that, I am done. The next app that we're going to use is the Canva app, and I really love this app because you're able to really play around with your actual image as you would like. So I'm just adding in that save image from our Fonto app. I'm playing around with the size of it to get it to the size I like. And now I'm actually adding my actual text to this image. And I'm actually making a image for a code that I was having at the time on my website. So I'm just going to add the actual text that I would like for this image. Once I have added what I would like for the text to say, I will add any type of emojis or any cute images to bring out the text. I'm now making sure my text is centered in the actual photo. And then now that I've done that, I am just going to play around with the actual color of the font. I believe I changed the font to a beautiful gold color because I thought that would look beautiful with this image. So there is the gold. 
And now that I like how it has come out, once I look over and do some spell check, I will save the image and I am done. All right, y'all. So that is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this is a great benefit for you. I know the video was kind of quick and it was just basically an introductory to the apps. If you have any questions, please always leave them down in the description or the comment box below. I touch the description box. But yes, you guys, leave any questions you have in the comment box below. If you want a more in-depth, in detail video please let me know your girl is tongue-tied y'all I don't know I just today it's just I'm just maybe because I haven't been doing videos in like two weeks I'm kind of out of my I don't know out of my element but I can't talk today but I'm so happy you guys I'm back to be filming my videos but yes thank you all for your support and yes I will catch you in the next video bye